Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of instructional design and taking a closer look at SAM. If you're wondering what SAM stands for, well, that's short for the Successive Approximation Model. Let's get started. SAM is a popular instructional design approach that emphasizes collaboration, iteration, and rapid prototyping. It's a highly effective way to create engaging and impactful learning experiences. So let's break it down step by step. Step number one. Preparation. During this phase, instructional designers and subject matter experts gather all of the necessary information and align their goals. It's like laying the foundation for a solid structure. Step number two, iterative design. This is where the magic happens. Instead of spending a significant amount of time on a single design, Sam encourages rapid prototyping and quick iterations. Step number three, development. Once the design is in place, we move on to the development phase. This is when all of the planned content, media, and interactivities are brought together to create the actual learning materials. Step number four, implementation. After all of the hard work in the development phase, it's time for implementation. This is when the learning materials are put into action, whether it's through a learning management system, virtual classroom, or any other suitable medium. Step number five, evaluation. And last but not least, we have evaluation. This phase is crucial for assessing the effectiveness of the learning experience. Feedback from learners and stakeholders helps identify areas for improvement and fine tuning. Now we've gone through the different steps, let's talk about the benefits of using SAM. Benefit one, collaboration. One of the great things about SAM is the emphasis on collaboration. By involving subject matter experts, learners, and other stakeholders throughout the process, you ensure that the final product meets their needs and expectations. Benefit number two, rapid prototyping. Another key advantage is rapid prototyping. Instead of spending months on a single design, SAM encourages quick iterations. This allows you to test ideas, gather feedback, and make necessary adjustments early on, saving time and resources. SAM puts learners at the center of the design process. By involving them in the evaluation phase and considering their feedback, you can create learning experiences that are engaging, relevant, and tailored to their needs. And there you have it, the successive approximation model of instructional design, better known as SAM. It's a dynamic and iterative approach to instructional design that promotes collaboration, rapid prototyping, and learner centricity. So whether you're an aspiring instructional designer, an educator, a teacher, professional learning specialist, anyone designing instruction, SAM can be a valuable tool in your toolkit. That's all for today's video and model. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my channel for more exciting instructional design and learning development content. And as always, feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Thanks for watching and until next time, have fun innovating. Bye.